Oh, well, hello there. Welcome to my channel, Ellie and Y. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Come along with me as I set up my coffee station. But before we get started, let's rewind a little. And this is how the area looked before. And now the finished product. But let me not get ahead of myself. I have a little more work to do before I have my final setup. So let's go. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. Also right now, I'm going to start from the top and go towards the bottom. First up, we have these floating shelves. I got two white floating shelves online. I'll link down the company in the description. Next up is my coffee machine. And this coffee machine is the Breville Barista Touch. And right next to it, I have a teapot. I got this on Amazon and this is matte black to match the coffee machine and I love it. It's, it has this little plastic look, it literally has just a little button over here that you press. Next up is this countertop. This is our quartz countertop and the cabinets which are from Rose are the top typical cabinets that you put in the kitchen, not the bottom ones, but I put it on the bottom because they're more narrow, not as deep, so that they would fit into the window frame and not overlap. So, for example, here is that narrow one, just like my the one on the bottom, and this is your usual bottom one that is way deeper. And then we have the handles, which are also matte black to go with the, these two things, and they're also from Rose. I'm gonna start with setting up and decorating the floating shelves. So, first off, I have plants. This plant is called an arrowhead plant. I love the unique shape of the leaves. And this plant is going to go up here on the corner. So I got this at the nursery, at our local nursery, and the pot also. Next up we have a smaller plant and this plant is called the polka dot plant. And I'm going to put this one right and for our last plant is this prayer plant also known as a rabbit foot i think and the unique thing about this plant is it actually folds its leaves up in the afternoon which i didn't know until after i bought so that's pretty cool and this the top shelf in this corner. Next up we have coffee beans and these are from a coffee shop in Traverse City, Michigan. So I'm going to put them here in the corner. And then we have some coffee beans from a coffee shop in Lexington, Kentucky. These ones are going to go up here. And the last coffee beans are from a coffee shop in Knoxville, Tennessee. And these ones are going to go up top next to those ones. Since these are the same ones, I'm just going to put them in one row and push it back. And now we have some glass coffee mugs that are going to go up here. And that is all that I'm going to be putting on the floating shelves for now. Next up, we have 
this little section here. So I have this two tier tray thing that I've had for quite a while. So I'm, I had it in my previous coffee area. So I'm going to be reusing it and putting it right here. And then I have just this little mat in a jar with used coffee grounds. So I just keep it in a jar and then when it fills up, I throw it away. And now I have some jars of loose leaf teas. And this is gonna go onto our tray right here. Next up, we have some glass cups for our iced coffee. Some more mugs. And syrup, which I found this cool, unique little glass container for. And some glass straws. I'm going to hide behind the cup like that. And that is it for this area. Before I get on to this area right here, let me go through and show you guys what I have in my cabinets. So first off, we have this area right here. And it just has random stuff like owner's manual for the machines and teapot and also more tea stuff. My favorite cabinet is this one. I do have some tea, tea bags up here, but mostly it's all of my cups and jars and stuff. So I kind of have an obsession with getting different sized coffee mugs and here are some of my double insulated coffee mugs have that shape and this one is a little more square the other one was rounder this one is without a handle a tall one and my last one is a, also a tall one but with a handle so I have four different types of insulated mugs okay so now that I'm done with the wall part of the coffee station let's set up my lounge area okay first up is a rug and this is a five by eight I believe it rug. It doesn't tell me. Yeah, this is a five by eight rug, and about the satellites. I was looking around online everywhere, but. The reviews were making me have second guesses and I was not trusting it to buy online so I just was looking around a lot of stores so that I could see it in person so I could feel it. This is a thicker rug. I didn't want it to be like super thin. Next up is our chairs. So. So these chairs are from Target online. And this is like a velvet gray. I think you can call these barrel style chairs. They're really comfy. And I got two of them for this area. They're not too wide, but also wide enough. So they're like the perfect size. They're not too small, not too big. Now for my final piece of furniture is a coffee table. Cool thing about this is that the top does come off and 
that can be a storage for like blankets or something. Not that I'm gonna be using it because I like how it looks like this without anything in it. And got this coffee table at a store called At Homes. They have a bunch of like decor pieces and everything. And finally, I'm gonna put a book and a candle. Okay guys, so this is my final setup of my coffee area. If you like this video, give it a like, and if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment down below, and I'll be back with more videos. Bye.